Tell me something. Are you confused by all the offerings that Breville has available? They've got the Breville Barista Express. They've got the Express Impress. Then they came up with the Touch and with the Pro. Now they've got the Touch Impress. So I want to just talk a little bit today about the various models that they have, the pros and cons of them. So hopefully you can make a better decision on which one that you want to choose. All right, so let's start with this one over here. This is the original that started it all about a little over 10 years ago, the Breville Barista Express. You can see this is also the shortest model that I have here available. And this one has got 15 grind settings on it. It also has a heated brew group eventually. It's a passively heated brew group, but if you leave this on for about a half hour or so, you will start to feel that it's getting hot, and that is awesome. Let's just start up each of these machines here. And we will see how long they take to start up. So what I can say is that these two here, these have the older heating system in the Brevels. So they've got the thermo coil technology. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds to heat up. That also means that they have a slower time to steam. So they've got these older type steam wands on them. They work great. You can rotate them. So they, they really have a nice range of motion on them, but they take a long time. So they take between 15 and 20 seconds to warm up from espresso to steam mode, so keep that in mind. This one on the other hand here, this has got the new Thermojet technology, so the machine is up and running in just about three seconds, and you can also switch to steam mode in about, ah, I'd say five seconds or so. So that's an advantage for the newer ones. However, what I do find is that with the new machines that have the Thermojet technology, whether that's the Bambino Plus, whether that's the Barista Touch or the Barista Pro, or this one here, the Barista Touch Impress, they do not have heated brew groups, or at least they don't get passively heated. So I would give the advantage that way to these two machines here, the Barista Express and the Barista Express Impress because if you've got a heated brew group, then I find that you can get a little bit more sweetness out of your extraction. Maybe it's just a little bit better extraction overall. That is my experience so far in using these machines. But these two models also have a disadvantage and that is that they don't include any kind of sensor in the tank. And that is super annoying, especially if you are mid shot. So I really think that is unfortunate. The newer models, such as the Touch Impress, they do have a sensor, and that is really, in my opinion, a necessity. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. So, but let's talk about the grinders. You can see that they all look pretty similar here, and they've got all conical grinders inside. This one has got 15 grind settings on the original Barista Express. This one has got 25 settings on the Barista Express Impress. And this one here, the Touch Impress, actually has got what they show on the display as 30 settings, but it's actually stepless. So that's kind of a nice feature. I would say that grinding on this one, you can, you can get the grind dialed in a little bit better than these stepped options here. So let's have a look at the burrs inside of these machines. In the older ones, in the Barista Express and Express Impress, you've got a five blade burr inside. Whereas on the newest machine with the Barazza burrs inside, here we've got a six blade burr. Something else to consider is that these two machines here, that's what impress means, is that they come with these nice impress tampers. That's really awesome. So that's gonna help you greatly in getting a nice even tamp. And that's also going to help you with your dosing because these both have adaptive dosing. They know based on the depth of the plunger of the tamp, how much you've got in your basket. And they say either add a little bit more or next time trim off a little bit. And it remembers that for the next time. So that is a nice handy feature on all of the Impress models. Another thing to consider is 
what kind of person are you? Do you like more analog controls or do you like more digital controls? You can see on these two machines here, you've got more analog controls, you've got more buttons. You've also got a manometer on these here. So that is something I think is really great for dialing in your shots is that you can see, okay, am I in the espresso zone or not? Am I too low? Am I too high? That's nice that you've got that nice analog display. If you compare that to this machine over here, you don't have any manometer at all on either the Barista Touch Impress or the Barista Pro or the Barista Touch. What you do have is a screen. This is the nicest screen out of all the screened models. It's four inches, it's high resolution, it does a good job in swiping, it's pretty responsive, and the graphics are nice. So it's definitely a nice screen, but you have to ask yourself, what kind of person am I? Do I wanna have a screen? Or would I like to have more of an analog kind of display? Another point that they all have in common, I would say, is that they all have nice big drip trays. So I do appreciate that. You don't have to empty these out quite as often as you will on a smaller machine. So that's something really nice. And just like in all the Brevels, they've got this hidden compartment in the back and that's where you put all of your accessories. So that is a really nice feature on all of the Barista models. Now as far as espresso quality is concerned, I would say all the machines are very similar. I would give the edge to the Barista Express and Express Impress models because they do eventually, it takes a long time, but they do eventually passively heat the brew group. That gives these the edge, but whether or not you really notice that, that is really the question that begs to be asked. As far as steaming goes, certainly any model with a screen on it is gonna be a better steamer. Whether that is this one here, the Touch Impress or the Touch or the Pro, they all steam faster, they get up to steam mode faster, and they also, I would say they steam a little easier because uh, they come with four holes in the tip, whereas these ones only come with one hole and it's just easier on this one to get a nice whirlpool going. So let's just go ahead and go into steam mode for each one and see how long that takes. Uh, steam, steam, and steam. Okay, that one is steaming already. Okay, then this one. And then finally the Barista Express. This is the slowest one, as you see, and both of these are slower than this one. So I feel like that's something important to take into consideration. Something they all share in common is the same kind of portafilter. It's a 54 millimeter portafilter that you got on these machines. And I do like it a lot. It feels great in the hand. It's got the dimple that I always talk about. So it just feels ooh, delightful to put into the machine. It's a nice heavy portafilter too. Uh, another thing that I can mention is that on the Brista Express and Express Impress, you've got the spouts for the water here on the side. Whereas on some of the other models, such as the Touch Impress, you've got the water spout over here. So that's kind of nicer to shoot it into your cup when you're making an Americano. Probably the last consideration is price. Which one of these is priced the best for you? So the Barista Express is still the best seller after all of these years because of everything that it offers. You got the complete package here and they all do come with everything that you need. Portafilter, four baskets, they come with an included tamper, which is really cool. They come with a milk pitcher so you can steam milk, this razor like you see here. Really everything that you need, even some cleaning tablets and some descaler, they all come with these machines. This one is still the best seller and I think part of it is because you get that whole package for quite a reasonable 
price. Then you step up to the Brista Express Impress and you got the advantage of the adaptive dosing and a really nice tamper. I like using it a lot. This does cost a little bit more, but in my opinion, it's worth it for the upgrade. And then when it comes to the, the Pro model, the Touch model, and the Touch Impress, you really have to ask yourself, is it worth the extra price in order to get a nice touch display? Do I need that, yes or no? And is it also worth the price to get the better steaming? Because this does steam way nicer, way easier than these two machines. These require, in my experience, a bit more time and practice, but they can also, all of the models can steam nice silky milk. I'm just saying this one makes it easier. All right, guys, I hope that this video is helpful for you. If so, check out my other ones. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.